Millions of people will have some or all of their student debt wiped out. Yeah, Lena DeFlorius is answering your questions about Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. Yeah, you know what? We've got 43 million Americans who have a lot of questions, and I know that because the website where you could find out more info crashed immediately after this announcement. So we're looking at people who could have up to $20,000 just wiped out. So your first question probably is going to be, am I eligible for this? Is this something that, you know, maybe I can benefit from? Well, the answer is, yeah, a lot of people will. Um, 20 million people are going to notice that they are debt free when it comes to student loans, as long as you earn less than $125,000. That's the vast majority of people who have student loan debt. So it's $10,000 of federal loans. That's most borrowers here that are going to be forgiven their debt. That number goes up to $20,000 for people who got Pell Grant. Now, Pell Grants are given by the government to students to, who show that they have an extreme financial hardship or a need, and then they get money from the government. So that's going to be double for those people. You might be thinking, what if I'm a student now? Yes, this counts for you as long as your loan originated before July 1st of this year. Maybe you're thinking, I did go to school, but I never got that degree at the end of my journey. It's okay. As long as you had that loan, that loan can still be forgiven, part of it. So you might be thinking too, how does this all work out? There's still a lot of questions here, but some people are asking, am I going to get a check for this? Am I going to get reimbursed maybe if I already paid back my loan? Well, it's, it's not really how it works. It's not like the stimulus where you got a check in the mail or a direct deposit. That's not what it is. It's actually going to be kind of wiped away. You'll notice that the back balance is going to go down with your lender. If you already paid your loan back, you're not going to get reimbursed for that. Um, if you're a student now, though, yes, if as long as your loan has already been originated. So to give you some perspective here, why it's so difficult now for people who have like more debt in 1980, the cost of going to school for four years was $10,000 a year. Now it's close to $29,000 or for that four year education. That's up 180%. Baylor, for example, if you went in the 90s, you were paying $7,500 a year. Now it's $50,000 a year. That's why so many people have student loan debt. Maybe you're thinking, all right, that $10,000, it helps, but it doesn't put me at zero. What if I still owe some money? Maybe it was 16,000, now it's um, 6,000, right? Okay, it's gonna take down your balance, but if you still owe that pause button that started with the Trump White House, it's on pause again through the end of the year. So payments are gonna be due again January 1st. So you have four months to get yourself ready here. Now the payment though, it might be less because they cap the payment income level, cutting it by half. So maybe your payment used to be 400. Now it would be 200. Uh, another question. Do you have to apply? It's a yes, no. So maybe they have your tax records. Maybe they don't at the Department of Education. Some people already got notices saying, hey, congratulations. You no longer owe us or you owe us less. Um, student aid website. You can go there to check. Also, the Department of Education or your lender should be able to help you kind of find out and navigate what's going on with your account. But remember, it's been two years since we've been making payments. March of 2020 is when the first pause button on payments was you know, pressed. So maybe you've moved in between now and then. You wanna make sure that your lender has your updated address, your phone number, uh, and that way they can give you your balance. Now, the Department of Education is gonna open a portal for you to apply. Maybe submit your tax info for 2020, 2021 to make sure that you're getting what you're due here. Um, they do say that the department's going to work quickly, efficiently uh, to get that simple application up. Now, that would be, it's the government here, so let's stick stick to this right quickly and efficiently by the end of the year before the payments are due again. But I do want to warn you, here come the scammers, right? You should notice that maybe your email, your text, phone messages of people saying, hey, we need all your info so that we can get you this, um, you know, this wiping out of your debt. Be careful with that. Only go to the Department of Education or your lender specifically. And remember, guys, you would never have to pay to get this forgiveness. All right. Lots of good info. Thanks for yes. breaking that down. Thank you.